Welcome to Studio Biology. In this video, we are going to discuss the excretory system of earthworm. It is also known as nephridial system. In earthworm, excretion occurs by nephridia. Nephridia are found in all body segments of earthworm except first three segments of body. Nephridia in earthworm are small sized that's why these are also known as micro nephridia while the nephridia while the nephridia in leech and nidis are large sized that's why these are known as mega nephridia now the types of nephridia there are mainly three types of nephridia that is pharyngeal nephridia, integumentary nephridia, and septal nephridia. So, three types of nephridia are found in earth form. First of all, we will discuss the pharyngeal nephridia. Pharyngeal nephridia are basically three pairs of coiled branch tubules. One pair in each fourth, fifth, and sixth body segments. Ducts from 4th and 5th segment open in pharynx while from 6th segments open in buccal cavity. As all the ducts of nephridium open in either pharynx or so the three pairs of pharyngeal nephridia give rise to three pairs of ducts that will open in the gut because of this Pharyngeal nephridia are also known as entero nephric nephridia that is opening in gut. Nephrostome is absent in pharyngeal nephridia. So this is about pharyngeal nephridia. Now the next one is integumentary nephridia.
in tegumentary nephridia are microscopic and v-shaped these are scattered over the dorsal surface of body number these are 200 to 250 per segment except the following now what are these exceptions a absent in first and second segments b in clitellar region in earthworm clitellar region is in 14th 15th and 16th segment number of nephridia that is integumentary nephridia is very high that is approximately 2000 per segment that's why this region of clitellum is also known as forest of nephridia now important thing is that these are exonephric nephridia because these are opening outside the body and these open outside the body by nephridiopores important thing nephrostomes is absent so this is the integumentary nephridia now the third one is septal nephridia septal nephridia are largest nephridia four rows of septal nephridia are present on both surfaces of septa or partition behind the 15th segment four rows means two rows on one surface and two rows on another surface each row is having Twenty to twenty five septal nephridia. So overall eighty to hundred septal nephridia 
पर सेप्टा आर फाउंड नो वट इज द पाथवे वेस्ट इज फर्स्ट कलेक्टेड फ्रॉम सिलोमिक फ्लूड एंड ब्लड बाय द सेप्टल नेफ्रीडिया विच पोर्स इट इन टू सेप्टल एक्सक्रीटरी कैनाल्स फ्रॉम सेप्टल एक्सक्रीटरी कैनाल्स इट इज पोर्ड इन टू सुपरा इंटेस्टाइनल एक्सक्रीटरी डक्ट From here, the waste is poured into intestine via small ductules. And then, from intestine, it is ingested along with the fecal matter. septal nephridia is divisible into four parts that is nephrostome neck body and the terminal duct important thing is that as it is opening in the gut these are enteronephric type and nephrostome is present in them so these are the three types of nephridia in earth form and the nephridial system in next lecture we'll discuss the structure of septal nephridia thanks for watching this video